Hi YouTube, this is uh, AAA X-Ray coming back to you with my uh, playthrough series of uh, Axe and Allies uh, Classic Edition. So uh, first of all I want to uh, thank uh, the Big E for uh, commenting on my uh, last video and uh, he mentioned um, a few things. One of them uh, is a rule that uh, uh, you can apply and that is that um, Russia is not allowed to attack in its first turn and that would give the Axis uh, a better chance so that's something uh, I'll have to uh, try out sometime the other thing is uh, with uh, Germany not to focus on uh, Africa but uh, instead uh, landing troops in the Caucasus which is also a good idea I have to, uh, to uh, yeah, play test it and see how that would work out Personally, I do like to get into Africa to pick up the IPCs there in the early game, and uh, of course, uh, yeah, it's not possible to maintain it in a late game, and uh, as we can also see in this game. So, uh, in the last episode, we uh, did uh, the playthrough of uh, the first round, and uh, actually, yesterday I made an episode with a playthrough of the second round but I uh, was not really satisfied with uh, the result so what I do, I change uh, my uh, style a little bit and uh, I will just give a um, summary of what happened in this uh, second round and uh, that way we'll go over it and probably also speed up this episode a little bit so uh, first of all yeah, in the Pacific, Japan uh, took out the fleet from the United States. This positioning itself, but it doesn't really matter because the rest of the Pacific Ocean is empty. Uh, America started a landing in Africa and uh, this way taking back uh, IPCs for the, for the UK. Other than that, in uh, Africa England also started to take back uh, uh, countries. The army that was uh, in uh, Anglo-Egypt, the uh, German army, moved to uh, Kenya but was uh, taken out there by the UK with uh, two infantry and the Air Force. So uh, yeah, the Allies are on their way to take back uh, the IPCs in Africa. If we go to Europe, um, it is not really looking very great for the for Germany. They were not strong enough to place their army in uh, Eastern Europe, so they uh, just took it with a uh, minor force just to get uh, IPCs and get uh, uh, Russia busy. Um, Russia at this moment quite strong here in this area, and. Uh, England took uh, Norway, Finland, and uh, after that, after uh, Russia first softened up uh, the territory. Now in Asia, it is uh, looking much better for the Axis. So uh, Japan is moving its infantry forward in the direction of Moscow, and uh, at this moment. Uh, Russia does not really have anything to uh, stop them just have uh, free infantry and uh, will pu pull them back uh, just not to get uh, crushed by the Japanese infantry so really Japan is doing very good and will make a run for uh, Moscow and in that way they will hope to take off the pressure of Berlin and uh, yeah, we'll see how that uh, will uh, work out. So we'll go to the third round. Okay, this is the end of the third round. So, uh, by the way, I think this uh, style we call the Brian Wassum style, after uh, the guy who is making uh, videos of uh, Axis and Allies uh, Global, and uh, he's doing it in this uh, way. If you did not see his uh, videos, go uh, check him out. 
anyway, what happened in the third round? Well, first of all, Africa is now um, completely from the Allies. United States took uh, Algeria and uh, Libya. Uh, what also happened is uh, Japan took his bomber to take out the transport, the UK transport, but they killed each other. So they're off the board. Other than that, in Europe, not so much changed. So still uh, Germany uh, staying in uh, Germany itself and uh, <coughs> Russia building up in Karelia. England is uh, moving forward with uh, landing troops in Norway, Finland and uh, here Japan is uh, keeping uh, pushing forward so um, yeah taking a lot of territories and uh, accumulating a lot of IPCs so Japan is really getting strong here and uh, we'll see what the Allies can do to uh, hold them back by the way they also bought a factory in India so they can uh, build uh, tanks with that I figured building a factory uh, for tanks is more economic than uh, using transports since in this version of the game the transport can only carry uh, one tank and not an infantry so uh, yeah other than that not so much happened on this side of the board um, United States did not do too much he pulled back its fleet to uh, pick up uh, new guys for the fourth round so what happened in the fourth round well, not that much. <coughs> in uh, Africa, the troops just uh, moved around. England took out uh, transport in the Indian Ocean. <coughs> Japan keep pushing uh, forward. More and more infantry are reaching the front. And uh, um, uh, Russia at this moment cannot do so much ab uh, about it. They're still stacking uh, Karelia and uh, now Germany moved forward to uh, Eastern Europe and uh, Russia cannot do so much about that either. England is uh, also accumulating uh, forces in uh, Karelia but uh, not strong enough to uh, do something yet and uh, United States landed their troops, uh, 10 infantry in uh, Finland, Norway and uh, yeah, built some troops back home so that's it, not too much for round 4 now this is the end of the 5th round and uh, in the 5th round uh, we do not see a big change yet so here and there troops are moving around um, if we uh, go to the Asia side of the board um, then uh, Persia is um, taken back by the UK Kazakh is taken back by uh, Russia the other territories are taken by uh, Japan so uh, territories are moving uh, back and forward uh, Japan is not uh, strong enough to uh, break through but it's definitely getting stronger and stronger so uh, the allies uh, need to um, make some plan on what to do there Russia for sure will not be able to uh, to hold that um, on the other side here in, uh, in Europe um, things are looking much more positive for Germany because uh, Japan is building up on the other side of uh, Moscow uh, a lot of Russian forces need to retreat and uh, what we see then is there in the up north in uh, Karelia we see a big force of uh, combined uh, allied uh, uh, units we see uh, Russian units, we see UK units, we see uh, US units but uh, together they are strong enough 
to defend the territory, but they cannot really uh, punish uh, Germany. So one of the um, uh, powers is not strong enough to push Germany back. So they take a little bit advantage of that by uh, moving forward. And uh, we'll see what they will do in the next turn, in uh, turn 6. So in the meantime uh, we see that also uh, uh, US forces are in uh, Karelia. So uh, the US is uh, landing now, making a presence in Europe. Also they are building up forces here <coughs> for future uh, landings. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it uh, develops and if they are able <coughs> to uh, change the tide for the Allies. Uh, conclusion so far in the game, um, Germany is not doing uh, too much. <coughs> it's uh, too strong to uh, maintain only in Germany. It's uh, too weak to really uh, push outward. But um, Japan is doing very good, and uh, we have to see what uh, uh, the Allies are able to do about it. <coughs> so that was it for this uh, episode. In the next episode we'll uh, continue and probably uh, see a breakthrough from uh, one side or another. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.